Hi, my name is Hector and I'm 70 years old. I keep on telling you that so you don't forget it and actually so it sinks in me that I've gotten to be 70. Um, wow, never thought I'd get this old. However, um, one of the other questions that people ask me, uh, question number 103 is questions about anxiety. Anxiety, okay? And a lot of times anxiety can be happening because of an underlying condition. Something happened to you when you were young, um, and now you're feeling um, the anxiety from maybe keeping it inside of you. However, a lot of times anxiety is just related to what you're going through on a day-to-day -day basis. Your job stress, your relationship stress, your kids stress, your bill stress. So anxiety can take many forms. And... It is very difficult sometimes to control it because we're in situations that maybe we're not allowing it to accept what's going on with our lives and try to fix it. Um, you could uh, be in a bad relationship and you can't get out of it uh, for the sake of the kids or you can't get out of it because you're afraid. That produces anxiety. You're... Um, you're have to make you have too many bills and you can't catch up and you gotta borrow from Peter to pay Paul and that causes anxiety. The idea here <clears throat> is to to try to relax and try to come to terms and come face to face with whatever issue it is that you're having that is causing anxiety. Now let's say that by magic you don't have any of those problems. And if you don't have any of those problems, your nutrition is extremely important. Everything comes back to nutrition. Because if you're eating the wrong foods with chemicals in it, chemicals that produce uh, or that attacks you, attack your nerves, uh, that produce anxiety, um, let's, say, let's say food that, um, that has too much sugar in it, that brings you up and it crashes you down, all those things are very important to pay attention to because they might be causing the anxiety that that you, you just can't get out of and, and it does get worse being overweight eating more as you get anxious being overweight actually causes anxiety and depression and a number of other things so I would take a good look at your life and say hey you know what is it that I need to change read below some of the suggestions that I have for you in case you're experiencing anxiety. So um, don't give me anxiety by not reading it. Um, okay, so let's go to the next question.